Attention viewer, we kindly ask you to take note that the documentary you are about to watch has been generated by artificial intelligence, AI technology. Unlike traditional documentaries crafted by human hands, this production has not undergone the scrutiny and validation typically associated with human-authored works. The primary objective of presenting this documentary is to showcase the evolving capabilities of AI and to provoke thoughtful contemplation regarding the comparison between AI-generated content and that which is produced by human intellect. Through this presentation, we aim to foster discussions surrounding the authenticity, reliability, and nuances of information generated by AI systems. While rigorous efforts have been made to ensure the accuracy and coherence of the content, it is crucial to acknowledge the inherent limitations and uncertainties that accompany AI-generated creations. As such, viewers are encouraged to approach the material presented with a discerning mindset, acknowledging the potential biases, errors, or omissions that may arise from the automated nature of its creation. Furthermore, we invite viewers to critically engage with the documentary, considering not only its thematic content, but also its implications for the future of content creation and knowledge dissemination. By observing the strengths and weaknesses of AI-generated content, in contrast to human-authored works, we hope to stimulate meaningful reflections on the role of technology in shaping our understanding of the world. In essence, while this documentary serves as a testament to the remarkable advancements in AI technology, it also serves as a catalyst for broader conversations regarding the complexities of human creativity, cognition, and the ever-evolving landscape of information production. Thank you for your attention, and we hope you find this exploration into the realm of AI-generated content both enlightening and thought-provoking. The 1950s, a decade that reshaped the landscape of science and technology, witnessed the emergence of a groundbreaking concept that would redefine the boundaries of what machines could achieve. This was the era that gave birth to artificial intelligence. In the heart of this technological revolution was a British mathematician and logician, Alan Turing. Already renowned for his pivotal role in deciphering the Enigma Code during World War II, Turing was about to embark on a journey that would plant the seeds of modern AI. In 1950, Turing introduced the world to what we now know as the Turing Test, a simple yet profound challenge. He proposed that if a machine could engage in a conversation with a human without the human realizing that they were interacting with a machine, then the machine could be considered intelligent. This test wasn't just about programming a machine to mimic human responses. It delved into the realms of machine learning, natural language processing, and the very nature of intelligence. Turing's groundbreaking paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, sparked widespread interest and debate. It posed fundamental questions. Can machines think? What does it mean to be intelligent? These questions resonated far beyond the realms of computer science, stirring discussions in philosophy, cognitive science, and linguistics. The concept of AI, still in its nascent stage, gained significant momentum in 1956. This was the year of the Dartmouth Conference, an event that is often regarded as the official birthplace of AI. Organized by John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, and Claude Shannon, this conference brought together the brightest minds in the field to discuss the potential of artificial intelligence. It was here that John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence, defining it as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. The conference laid out a bold vision to find ways to make machines use language, form abstractions and concepts, solve kinds of problems now reserved for humans and improve themselves. The 1950s saw early experiments in AI ranging from simple problem-solving programs to the development of neural networks, which attempted to simulate the processing of the human brain. These pioneering efforts were the building blocks for the complex AI systems we see today. As the decade came to a close, 
the foundation for AI had been firmly established. The dreams and theories of the 1950s would set the stage for the incredible advancements in the decades to follow, leading us into an era where AI is not just a field of study, but a fundamental part of our daily lives. As the dawn of the 1960s broke, the field of artificial intelligence began to transition from theoretical exploration to tangible experimentation. This decade was crucial in shaping the trajectory of AI research. In the midst of this burgeoning field stood a significant figure, Joseph Weizenbaum, a computer scientist at the MIT Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. His contribution in 1966 would become a cornerstone in the history of AI. Weizenbaum created ELISA, an early natural language processing program. Named after Eliza Doolittle, a character from George Bernard Shaw's Pygmalion, ELISA was an experiment in the interaction between humans and machines. ELISA operated as a Rogerian psychotherapist, a type of therapy based on mirroring the patient's statements. Weizenbaum designed ELISA to rephrase the user's sentences and pose them back as questions allowing the program to maintain a conversation. This was groundbreaking. For the first time, a computer program could simulate a human-like conversation, albeit in a rudimentary form. The simplicity of Eliza's method was deceptive. It used pattern matching and substitution methodology, which enabled it to create an illusion of understanding. The interactions with Eliza were fascinating often leading users to ascribe emotional depth to the machine's responses. Eliza's creation sparked widespread discussion. It raised philosophical and ethical questions about human-computer interaction, the nature of intelligence, and the future of therapy. Weizenbaum himself was surprised and somewhat disturbed by the emotional reactions Eliza elicited from users, leading him to caution against overestimating AI's capabilities Beyond ELISA, the 1960s were a hotbed of AI research. This era saw advancements in machine learning, problem-solving algorithms, and the development of early neural networks. These developments laid the groundwork for future AI systems, far more complex than what the pioneers of the time could have imagined. As the 1960s came to a close, AI research had firmly established itself as a distinct and rapidly evolving field. The decade's work, epitomized by ELISA, set the stage for a future where machines would not only compute, but also communicate, learn, and perhaps understand. The 1970s marked a stark contrast to the optimism of the 1960s in the field of artificial intelligence. This period, often referred to as the AI winter, was characterized by skepticism, criticism, and a significant reduction in funding. The early promises of AI had set high expectations. Machines that could understand natural language, solve complex problems, and mimic human reasoning. However, as the decade progressed, these promises remained largely unfulfilled. The limitations of existing technology became apparent. The computational power needed for advanced AI simply wasn't available and the understanding of neural networks was still in its infancy. The result was a growing disillusionment with AI. Funding agencies, once enthusiastic supporters, became cautious. Projects were scaled down or scrapped, and the AI community faced intense scrutiny. The AI winter had set in, casting a long shadow over the field. This period, however, was not devoid of progress. It was a time of reflection, and recalibration. Researchers began focusing on more attainable goals, laying the groundwork for future breakthroughs. As the 1980s dawned, the AI winter began to thaw, heralding a period of resurgence and new directions in AI research. 1980 marked a significant milestone with the rise of expert systems, particularly XCON, also known as R1. These systems, used in industries, were designed to mimic the decision-making ability of a human expert. Xcon, developed for Digital Equipment Corporation, was a pioneering example. It was capable of configuring orders for new computer systems, streamlining a process that was complex and time-consuming. 
the success of expert systems like XCON demonstrated practical applications of AI, revitalizing interest and investment in the field. These systems were not only commercially viable, but also showcased how AI could solve real-world problems. Another pivotal moment came in 1986, with the revival of backpropagation in neural networks by researchers Rumelhart, Hinton, and Williams. This marked the beginning of modern neural networks as we know them. Backpropagation, a method for training neural networks, allowed AI to learn from errors and adjust. It was a crucial step towards the development of deep learning. The advancements in neural networks, along with the success of expert systems, signaled a rejuvenation of AI. The 1980s saw AI not only recover from its winter, but also set the stage for a future where it would become an integral part of technology and everyday life. The 1990s heralded a new chapter in the saga of artificial intelligence, marked by significant advancements and public milestones. This decade saw the rise of machine learning, a subset of AI focusing on the ability of machines to learn from and make decisions based on data. In the realm of public consciousness, one event stood out in 1997, capturing the imagination of the world. IBM's Deep Blue versus Garry Kasparov, the reigning world chess champion. This was not just a game of chess. It was a symbolic showdown between human intellect and artificial intelligence. Deep Blue, a computer specifically designed by IBM to play chess at an advanced level, faced off against Kasparov in a highly publicized match. The world watched as, for the first time in history, a computer defeated a world chess champion in a standard chess tournament. This victory was not just a triumph of computational power, it was a demonstration of strategic thinking, albeit in a highly structured environment. The victory of Deep Blue was a pivotal moment symbolizing the potential of AI. It sparked debates and discussions about the future of AI the nature of human intelligence, and the possible applications of intelligent machines in various fields. The late 1990s were not just about high-profile events. This era witnessed significant advancements in machine learning algorithms, particularly those driven by data. Researchers and developers began to harness large amounts of data, using it to train algorithms to recognize patterns, make predictions, and learn from experiences. These advancements laid the groundwork for many modern AI applications, from voice recognition systems to personalized recommendations on the web. The progress in machine learning also set the stage for the next big leap in AI, the advent of deep learning, which would transform the field in the following decades. As the new millennium dawned, Artificial intelligence began to move from the halls of academia and research labs into the mainstream. The 2000s were marked by significant milestones that not only demonstrated the capabilities of AI, but also popularized its concepts among the general public. A landmark development in the field came in 2006, led by Jeffrey Hinton and his colleagues. They popularized the term deep learning a method in machine learning that involves training large neural networks with multiple layers, or deep networks. This approach mimicked the human brain's ability to process and interpret complex data patterns. Deep learning was revolutionary. It leveraged the increasing availability of big data and advances in computational power to achieve remarkable feats in image and speech recognition, natural language processing, and beyond. This marked a turning point signaling the beginning of an era where AI could learn, adapt, and make decisions with unprecedented accuracy. In 2011, AI's rising prominence was showcased to the world through IBM's Watson, a system designed to understand natural language and provide answers to complex questions. Watson's abilities were put to the test in the iconic game show, Jeopardy! Competing against two of the show's greatest champions, Watson dominated the game, demonstrating not just a vast repository of knowledge, but also the ability to understand subtleties, nuances, and context in human language. 
This victory was a moment of triumph for AI, showcasing its potential to handle complex, real-world tasks. Watson's success was more than just a game show spectacle. It opened the door for real-world applications, from healthcare diagnostics to financial analysis. AI was no longer a futuristic concept. It was here, improving and impacting our everyday lives. The 2000s set the stage for AI to become an integral part of the technological landscape, deep learning and events like Watson's Jeopardy. Victory brought AI into the public eye, not as a distant dream, but as a present reality, reshaping industries, economies, and daily life. The 2010s were a decade of remarkable breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, a period where technology leapt forward and the ethical implications of AI became a central concern. A pivotal moment occurred in 2012 with a project named AlexNet. Designed by a team led by Jeffrey Hinton, AlexNet significantly advanced deep learning in image recognition. Winning the ImageNet Challenge, a large-scale visual recognition competition, AlexNet outperformed traditional computer vision systems by a wide margin. AlexNet's victory wasn't just a milestone in image recognition. It was a demonstration of the power of deep neural networks. This breakthrough accelerated research and development in AI, leading to advancements in fields ranging from medical imaging to autonomous vehicles. In 2014, the AI landscape was further transformed by the introduction of Generative Adversarial Networks, or GANs, by Ian Goodfellow and his colleagues. JANs represented a novel approach in AI, involving two neural networks contesting with each other to generate new, synthetic instances of data. GANs opened up new possibilities, from creating realistic artificial imagery to advancing drug discovery. However, they also raised concerns, particularly in the creation of deep fakes, highlighting the potential for misuse of AI technology. 2016 marked another landmark achievement, Google DeepMind's AlphaGo. AlphaGo's victory over Lee Sedol, a world champion in the ancient game of Go, was a testament to the advanced strategic thinking and learning capabilities of AI. Unlike chess, Go has an enormous possibility space, making this victory a significant demonstration of AI's progress. While these technological advancements were celebrated, the 2010s also saw a growing awareness of the ethical implications of AI. Concerns about bias in AI algorithms, privacy issues, and the impact of automation on job displacement came to the forefront. The debate around AI ethics led to calls for responsible AI development, focusing on transparency, fairness, and accountability. The realization that AI was not just a technological tool, but a social and ethical one reshaped how AI was developed and deployed. The 2010s, therefore, were not just about technological triumphs. They were a period of introspection and responsibility. As AI became more advanced and integrated into society, the need to understand and address its broader impact became increasingly clear. The 2020s marked a period where artificial intelligence not only advanced technologically, but also became deeply integrated into various aspects of our lives. This decade witnessed significant developments, both inspiring and challenging, as AI continued to reshape our world. A major highlight of this era was the remarkable improvement in natural language processing, NLP. Models like GPT-3 and GPT-4, developed by OpenAI, broke new ground in AI's ability to understand generate, and interact using human language. These models, built on vast amounts of text data, could write essays, create poetry, code software, and more. They represented a quantum leap in AI's language capabilities, opening up new possibilities in fields from education to customer service. However, their sophistication also raised questions about misinformation, the authenticity of digital content, and the future of human-AI interaction. In 2021, the advancements in AI art and deepfake technology 
captured public imagination and concern. AI-driven art, creating stunning visuals and compositions, pushed the boundaries of creativity. Simultaneously, deepfake technology, which could create hyper-realistic fake videos and audio, raised significant ethical concerns about truth, consent, and misinformation. These developments sparked a broader debate about the role of AI in art and media. The potential for both extraordinary creativity and troubling deception brought into focus the need for ethical guidelines and regulatory frameworks in AI. Beyond these developments, the 2020s have been marked by the widespread integration of AI across various sectors. In healthcare, AI is revolutionizing diagnostics and personalized medicine. In finance, it's enabling smarter risk assessment and fraud detection. The entertainment industry is using AI for everything from movie recommendations to virtual reality experiences. As we move through the 2020s, AI is no longer a standalone technology, but an integral part of our daily lives. Its integration across sectors is not just changing how we work and play, it's transforming how we interact with the world around us. With these advancements come responsibilities to ensure that AI is used ethically, transparently, and for the benefit of society. The story of AI in the 2020s is still being written. It's a narrative of incredible technological progress, intertwined with crucial questions about our values, ethics, and the future we want to build with AI. As we stand in the present day, Artificial intelligence has evolved into a multifaceted and pervasive technology, influencing numerous aspects of our lives and society. The landscape of AI is rich and varied, encompassing a range of technologies, each with its unique capabilities and challenges. One of the most prominent areas of AI is natural language processing, NLP. With models like GPT-3 and GPT-4 leading the charge, these models have revolutionized how we interact with machines, making digital assistants more intuitive and creating new ways for AI to aid in writing, coding, and even artistic creation. In the realm of computer vision, AI systems have become adept at interpreting and interacting with the visual world. Advances in this field are powering technologies like autonomous vehicles, facial recognition systems, and augmented reality experiences. Another significant area is machine learning, particularly deep learning. These AI systems, trained on vast data sets, are uncovering patterns and insights beyond human capability. They're being used in everything from predicting consumer behavior to advancing scientific research. Ah! One of the most exciting and controversial developments in AI is the rise of generative AI. This includes technologies like Generative Adversarial Networks GANs, and Variational Autoencoders VAEs. They're not just creating realistic images and videos, but are also pushing the boundaries in fields like drug discovery and materials science. AI is also making strides in robotics and automation. From industrial robots that enhance manufacturing efficiency to robotic process automation RPA, Streamlining office tasks, AI-driven automation is reshaping the workforce and productivity. The integration of AI in healthcare deserves special mention. AI-driven diagnostics, personalized medicine, and robotic surgeries are transforming patient care. The potential of AI in combating diseases and improving health outcomes is immense. However, the advancement of AI is not without challenges and ethical considerations. Issues like algorithmic bias, data privacy, and the impact of automation on employment are at the forefront of discussions. Ensuring AI's ethical and responsible use is a collective responsibility involving policymakers, technologists, and the public. As AI continues to evolve, we are also witnessing the emergence of AI in creative industries. AI-generated music, art, and literature are exploring new forms of creativity, blurring the lines between human and machine-made art. The field of AI is also advancing towards achieving artificial general intelligence, AGI, an AI that can understand, learn, 
and apply its intelligence broadly, akin to a human. While AGI remains a topic of research and debate, its pursuit exemplifies the aspirational goals of AI. In conclusion, the present state of AI is a tapestry of incredible technological achievements and ongoing challenges. As we harness the power of AI, we must also navigate its complexities and implications, shaping a future where AI benefits all of humanity. As we reach the end of our journey through the history of artificial intelligence, it's clear that AI has been a story of ambition, innovation, and profound impact. From the theoretical foundations laid in the mid-20th century to the complex, multifaceted AI systems of today, this journey has reshaped our understanding of intelligence, both artificial and human. We've seen how AI evolved from simple, rule-based systems to sophisticated neural networks capable of learning and adapting. We've witnessed the rise and fall of expectations, the challenges of winters, and the resurgence of hope and innovation. The achievements in fields like natural language processing, computer vision, and machine learning have not just advanced technology, they have opened new frontiers in how we connect, create, and comprehend the world around us. Yet as we stand at this point in history, looking back at the achievements and forward to the possibilities, we are also confronted with critical questions. Questions that will shape the future of AI and, in turn, the future of humanity. How do we ensure that AI develops in a way that is ethical, transparent, and beneficial to all? As AI systems become more integrated into our lives, how do we address issues of privacy, bias, and control? What role will AI play in shaping our economies, our societies, and our very identities? The pursuit of artificial general intelligence raises its own set of questions. What happens when AI surpasses human intelligence in all areas? How do we prepare for a world where the lines between human and machine intelligence are blurred? These questions do not have easy answers. They require a collaborative effort from technologists, ethicists, policymakers, and, indeed, all of society. As we continue to advance in AI, our responsibility grows to guide this progress wisely and thoughtfully. The history of AI is not just a tale of technology, it's a mirror reflecting our own aspirations, fears, and the endless quest for understanding. As we look to the future, let us take with us the lessons of the past, the awareness of the present, and the hope for a future where AI serves to elevate humanity, not diminish it. In the end, the story of AI is still being written. It's a story that each of us is a part of, and its next chapter will be shaped by the choices we make today. What role will you play in this ongoing journey?